Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Haley and you're watching Between the Pages. Um, I know it's been quite a while since you've seen me. If you saw my community post, my mental health has been very bad lately. So I've been really low energy. Um, I have been reading books, I just haven't been reviewing them. If you could see the stack of books that is slowly growing over on my ledge, you would, you'd understand. Um, but today I wanted to come on here and give you my Spookopolathon uh, TBR. I've never done Spookopolathon and I was like, I really liked Magical Readathon and not having to read my TBR vets that I'm not very excited for. So in order to maintain momentum, I was like, okay, well, I'll just do Spookopolathon and then we'll go back to TB TBR vets because I just... I just really need a break from that video project and I know we're only like two episodes in but it's just very taxing so I wanted to do something simple again for October um, especially since October is going to be a very busy month for me so and like in my personal life I have a lot of things planned and a lot of stuff going on so I was like well I want to be excited about what I'm reading so hence Spookopolathon. So I'm not gonna film, I didn't film like my rolls or anything because I was like, I just cannot, I just need it to be really simple. So I just set up the Spookopolathon board in my um, readathon journal that I use for like magical readathon and everything else that I participate in. And so, and I made the community cards and the chance cards and things like that. So I didn't film my rolls, I'm sorry. I have the list of the books on my phone and then I have the stack over here of what I'll be reading and I'll explain to you like what my rolls were. So the first one was I landed on future and that is, I, and I rolled a double. So instead of re-rolling for another prompt and then having to choose two books after that, I just chose two books for the future which is like a rainy day read or like a book that you want to read in the future. So I picked The Wren in the Holly Library by K.A. Lindell. This will be my first uh, Red Tower book. This is from the publisher of um, Fourth Wing. So I've never read a Red, Red Tower book. I know there's been a lot of mixed feelings about this book. Some people love it. Some people hate it. Kind of like Fourth Wing. But I think it sounds really interesting to me. So I wanted to go ahead and read this. The second one is one that I'm really excited to read and that's Evocation by S.T. Gibson. Again, I've heard that some people like this and some people really hate it. So I really wanna see what my thoughts are on it because prior to this being a Owl Crate pick, um, I was planning on purchasing it anyway. So the premise intrigued me enough to wanna purchase it prior to getting it in an Owl Crate. So yeah, that's my second pick. <clears throat> Um, my second role, I landed on Jason, which is 13 words in the title. So I picked Starling House by Alex E. Harrow. Um, I've been wanting to read this for a while. I know that it has to do with like a gothic castle, I think. Um, again, a lot of these books, I have no idea what they're about <laughs> because they were Alcrate books. So I picked this one for my third book. Then I got Feed Scroll. Um, which is like one of the corner pieces and I had to scroll through a social media of my choice so I just chose Instagram and I saw something on Book Roast's um, like one of her posts and oh whoops I have switched these it was actually this one uh, The Warm Hands of Ghosts by Catherine Arden this is by the author of The Bear and the Nightingale which I have never read that book or anything but this one is also kind of like historical fiction with a little bit of fantasy thrown in so I think it's I'm gonna really like it um then I got Shirley Jackson which is building on the cover I kind of sort of cheated for this one um and I picked Castle of the Curse because as you can see it kind of it's like so, sort of the silhouette of a building but like not really but I'm like it is about a gothic castle and I know that there are vampires and things like that so perfect for spooky season so that's why I chose this one and then the last one before I did like a, I did a couple extra rolls just to see what I would get um I got seance which is a random letter generator and it was g so of course I picked garden of the cursed I do have the sequel masquerade of the heart which I unboxed on my channel I don't know when I'm going to get to that I think that if it pops up in 
if this pops up in TBR vets, I'll just go ahead and read the sequel. Um, because I have the sequel, but I'm not going, I couldn't fit it in with this TBR or anything. So yeah, Garden of the Curse. I'm super excited to read this. And then I chose two more rolls just to kind of give myself some variety. I know I'm not going to read all eight books in the month. Um, but I thought, you know, in case I get to all of these, um, I got lowest rated and you'll never guess what popped up. Which is steeped in gold. This book is haunting me because if you are watching my TBR vets video, you know, this, this popped up, I think in the second episode and I didn't get to it and I chose not to roll it over into the next month. So this book is now haunting me. Um, we shall see if it gets put back on the shelf again or gets put back in the TBR jar. So yeah, not really excited about this one. And then the last one I got was a chance card. So I chance cards, I had to write um, 14 to 16 books that um, I physically own. I, I did that like I took my Goodreads TBR and I chose like four, I chose like 16 or 18 books that I had recently added to my TBR. Some are Alcrate books, some are ones that I have purchased and things like that. And so I landed on Chance and I picked it out and I got What the River Knows by Isabel Ibanez. I know that Alcrate is doing a matching sequel to this book, but I won't be purchasing it because this cover or the cover to the sequel looks almost exactly like the trade cover. And I know that I'm probably, I may or may not enjoy this. <laughs> so I don't know. So I was like, I'm not going to buy the sequel because I wasn't really interested in this when I unboxed it. Again, maybe, maybe I'll like it. Um, I think this is somewhere in the TBR jar. I'm not entirely sure about that because I know that I put books from 2016, 2002, oh my God, 2016 to 2023 in the jar. So I don't know if this is in the jar or not. I don't remember when this was released, but yeah. And it has a bookmark in it. I don't remember placing this bookmark inside here. So maybe that came in the box with this and I just stuck it in there to keep track of it. But yeah, I don't know where this bookmark came from. I don't know why it's inside my book. Um, but yeah, the last book is What the River Knows. So I'm gonna attempt to lift these. They're very, some of them are very chunky. So here are the eight books that I have selected for Spookopolathon. I will probably not get to all of these, but I shall try my best because I think I'm going to mostly focus on the ones, like the ones all the way down here and probably save these two for last if I happen to get to them. But yeah, that was my TBR for Spookopolathon and I guess I will just see you guys later.